Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, MJ Test Live Video Reaction Edition. This is going to be a video reaction to a pitch meeting for the movie uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. So let's check it out. So, you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. It's a very exciting idea. Oh, boy. Yeah, I thought we could base a movie on one of those slow-moving boat ride attractions at Disney World. Oh. Okay, that doesn't sound super exciting. Oh, it's gonna be, though. We could get one of the main actors to pretty much do a Keith Richards impression, a lot of mumbling. Okay, so like a guitarist in his late 50s going about two miles an hour just kind of looking at stuff. No, the Disney ride's just a jumping off point. We're gonna build an adventure movie around that. So what ride are we talking about here? Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, Pirates of the Caribbean. One of those pronunciations, sure. Sure. So we're gonna meet this little girl, Elizabeth Swan, right? And she's helping out this kid, Will Turner, who they found in this big shipwreck caused by pirates. Oh, boy. And she sees this pirate medallion of his, and she keeps it. Okay. So years later, this guy Norrington wants to marry Elizabeth, and he knows her very well. How? Because he's known her since she was a small child. Oh, my God. But Elizabeth <laughs> has a crush on Will, and he has a crush on her. And what's his deal now? Well, he's a blacksmith now, and he's always walking around saying stuff like, Elizabeth. Gotcha. So then Elizabeth falls into the ocean because her corset was too tight, and that medallion sends this magical pulse out into the ocean. Oh, it does. Yeah, and turns out it called to these cursed pirates on this ship called the Black Pearl. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. So then Elizabeth is saved by this wacky pirate guy named Jack Sparrow who showed up in Port Royal earlier. Keith Richards. Keith Richards. And even though he saved her life, everybody wants to kill him because he's a pirate. Very rude. And so he goes on this crazy daring escape where I disregard physics and probabilities and all that boring crap for a bit. You gotta disregard that stuff sometimes. It is more fun that way. But as he's escaping, he's gonna encounter Will Turner. Oh yeah? Yeah, and Jack's gonna go to leave, but Will's gonna throw a sword into the door and lock him in the workshop with them. Why? To kill him because he freaking hates pirates. He doesn't know that he kind of is one. Why didn't he throw his sword at Jack then? Well, that'd be pretty messed up. You can't get somebody when their back is turned, <laughs> I guess. So then they have this big sword fight that ends with Jack getting knocked unconscious by Will's boss. Oh, instantly unconscious. That's definitely some brain damage, right? No, it's that wacky kind of head trauma where your eyes cross and you get up a bit later completely fine. Oh, that's the best kind of head trauma. <laughs> so Jack gets put in a jail cell and while he's in there, the evil pirates show up and they just go nuts around town. Whoa. Yeah, so Will throws an axe at one of them, gets him right in the back. Wait, if he throws an axe at this guy in the back, why didn't he throw that sword at Jack? Well, this other pirate's not a main character, so. Uh -oh. So then these pirates try to grab Elizabeth, and she puts up a fight by dropping some hot coals on them, but they manage to get her eventually. Oh, hot coals are hot. They sure are, sir. Then Will's gonna get some wacky head trauma, too, and some pirates are gonna recognize Jack. Oh, how do they know him? Well, turns out he used to be captain of the Black Pearl till there was a mutiny led by this guy Barbosa. Okay, okay. And then Jack's gonna see that when they're hit by moonlight, they turn to skeletons. Oh, now those are spooky. They sure are, sir. <laughs> yeah, so I guess Elizabeth and everybody else around town see some skeletons, too. No, Jack's the only one in town that sees them. <laughs> if there's moonlight. Well, it's a cloudy night. I guess, you know, the moonlight was just hitting this one specific spot in the jail cell and nowhere else. Oh, <laughs> sniper moons are tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what is the deal with this curse anyway? That's not a stand-up bit. I do, I do want to know. Well, see, they stole some Aztec gold belonging to this guy Cortez, and this stuff was cursed by the heathen gods. Oh, cursed how? Well, now they can't die or taste or feel, and when there's moonlight, they turn to skeletons. Oh, well, as I said earlier, those are spooky, but how'd that pirate earlier get burned by the coals if they can't feel things? I don't know. Fair enough. <laughs> so anyway, to lift the curse, they need to return the final medallion with the blood of the person who stole it. And who stole this last coin medallion thing? Will's father bootstrap Bill, but they tossed him in the ocean. Very rude. So now they want Will's blood? <laughs> exactly. But see, when they kidnap Elizabeth onto their ship, she's like, my name is Elizabeth Turner. So they're like, oh, this is, this is bootstrap Bill's son. What? So then Barbosa has this nice dinner for Elizabeth. Elizabeth and she is just starving. I thought they couldn't eat. Why do they have fresh food lying around their ship? <laughs> Unclear. So then Barbosa's gonna explain the whole curse to Elizabeth and his whole crew's gonna do this little choreography that they clearly put a lot of work into. Good to have hobbies. <laughs> and so back at Port Royal, Will's gonna help Jack escape so they can go save Elizabeth. It's gonna be hard for them to get out of there without a ship. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, see, they tricked the entire crew of this one ship to go onto another ship and then they just sneak onto theirs and take it. The entire crew 
crew of a ship <laughs> got onto another ship. Every single crew member, sir. I feel like that doesn't make sense. Well, that may be, but it's gonna drive the story forward. Well, okay then. So eventually the pirates are gonna try to lift the curse using Elizabeth's blood, but she's gonna be like, I lied about my name, you dummies. Right, okay, they just wanna be mortal again though, right? Yeah, those dummies. So then what happens? Well, then there's gonna be this big ship battle, and Will is gonna strike a deal with the pirates. And what's the deal? Well, he gets them to set Elizabeth and Jack free, but Barbosa's sneaky, so he just maroons them on an island. A very sneaky pirate. Yeah, but then Elizabeth sets a bunch of rum on fire, and they get rescued by her father and that guy who wants to marry her. Gross. So then Jack stops Barbosa <laughs> from killing Will, right? Right. And he, like, playfully picks up some coins and tosses them back in the chest, but secretly keeps one, so he's cursed now. He can't die. Technically, wouldn't he be cursed no matter what, since he didn't return those other coins with his blood? Technically, yeah, but nobody notices that. Oh, okay, great. So then he has this big sword <laughs> fight with Barbosa, and he does this fun skeleton reveal, and then he shoots him just as Will drops the final medallion into the chest. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, and so that's the end of the curse, but people still want to hang Jack, because he's still a pirate. Yeah, I guess he is. But then freaking Will bursts in to save them. He throws a sword just beneath his feet, so he does this balancing thing. Why didn't he throw the sword at the rope itself? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, this guy doesn't really get much thought into where he throws weapons, huh? I guess not. So then Will and Elizabeth help Jack escape. Amazing. And so Jack gets a ship and a crew. There's a cowboy there. It's a great time. What? And so, yeah, that's about it. What do you think? <laughs> well, it sounds like a lot of fun. We're gonna have to get somebody really, really good to play Jack Sparrow, though. Definitely, sir. Someone that's gonna be synonymous with the franchise. Somebody we wouldn't think of replacing. <laughs> Oh God! You know, I hope you guys enjoy that. That was funny, and you know he point. I've done this. Uh, this is my second time doing video reactions to uh, the uh, pitch meeting, and he points out these little things that I. No matter if I've seen the movie or not, especially when I've seen the movie, it's really funny. Because it's like, oh yeah, that don't make any sense. Why did he, th like what he just said, he threw the uh, sword so he could land his, uh, Jack's feet onto the sword. And why not just throw it at the rope? <laughs> I never thought of that. But this guy does. That is great. Uh, oh God. I hope you guys got a good ch laugh out of this as well. Um, I will be doing some more of these. I, there's like, oh, I don't know, several more of uh, the Caribbean movies that he's done uh, pitch meetings for. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. I hope you guys are as well. Until then, I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night. Take care of yourselves and the ones you love. And ciao. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs>